I'm now going to show you the branding, styling and cloning features of Cushy CMS. Please note that you'll need to have a Pro subscription to access these features. So to change the branding settings, we go to our user preferences. Settings we can change include our organization name, our domain name, theme colors and our logo. Now you can see our logo here, our theme, and let's check what the WYSIWYG looks like. You can see we've got a standard WYSIWYG, but since we're pro, we get to alter some of these buttons. Let's remove some of the buttons from the WYSIWYG. take these off. And now we're also going to style the inside of the WYSIWYG to match the background color and font settings as a website. So let's copy the font settings and grab the background. We'll save these settings to our site configuration. And we're logged in as the editor on this view, so this is what they would see after we've updated our site config. And as you can see, the text is the same as our website and the background for the WYSIWYG is the same. You can see we haven't got any custom styles apart from the standard ones. So I'll now show you how to add your own styles. We're going to add one called Highlight. And that's just a space separated list of styles that you want to make available to your editor. and we'll select some text and now highlight uh, is in our list of styles now at the moment it doesn't look any different on this screen it's just the style we've made available to the editor to select and also because our style sheet doesn't have anything about highlight it doesn't look any different on the website yet but we'll add highlight to our um, style sheet Upload the style sheet and refresh. And there, our highlight style has now been applied. Now, we'll show you how to implement that style inside the WYSIWYG. So we'll copy that style and put it in the custom styles along with the body text that we've already added. Save that. And next time the editor comes along, there we go, the WYSIWYG has the highlight style. So we'll remove that formatting. And change it to there instead. So we'll save that. And there we go, change has been made. Another thing that we'll show you that pro users can do is they can assign the clonability to their editors if they wish. It's off by default, uh, but you can enable cloning and it enables a button here for your editors. When they click it, they can copy any page they wish and rename it. So we'll save a name 
and that generates the new file on the server. And as you can see, that's the new URL slash archive. So we're going to make a change in here to remove the highlighting. And we'll go to slash archive. And there you can see the highlighting's gone. Just to show you that's working properly, we'll change the title as well. We'll change that to archived news. Publish. Refresh the uh, archive page, and we have archive news. And if we go back to the index page, you can see that's all still intact and we've still got the highlighting. That's it. Thanks for watching.